So I've been reading through the comments and you guys have been asking for more information on how I do my affiliate marketing. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a huge strategy that is something I personally do and highly recommend for you. And it's how to turn your affiliate marketing website articles into YouTube videos. Now the kicker here is the way I'm going to show you how to do this, you don't even have to be on camera. Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Greg and I like to talk about online entrepreneurship and sharing the resources that I wish I had along my journey. So if you're interested in making money online, feel free to look around the channel and consider subscribing. As mentioned in the introduction here, this is going to be a rather quick video, but it's going to go through a full tutorial on how to turn your affiliate marketing website articles into YouTube videos. Like I said earlier, you do not have to be in the videos, you do not have to talk in the videos, you don't even have to be comfortable on camera because everything is done from your computer. Now, with that being said, as you've seen in other videos on this channel, you need to have a niche affiliate marketing website. That is going to be the gold standard for all affiliate marketing because when someone's interested in buying something or learning something, they're either going to go to Google or YouTube and they're going to search for information. Now, by having a niche specific affiliate marketing website, when people go to Google and they're searching for information, your website website and your articles will show up in Google search results. Now that process right there is primarily where most of your traffic is going to come from. Someone going to Google, searching and organically finding your articles, clicking them and going directly to your website. That is all completely free and I highly recommend it. However, what is the bonus? What are the other ways that you can grow your business? That is where YouTube comes in. Now YouTube is a search engine just like Google, meaning that people go there and search for information. Now a lot of us go to YouTube for entertainment, but a lot of us go there to find out how to do things. So with that being said, how do you take the information from your affiliate marketing articles and turn it into YouTube videos that people can watch and you can get the traffic from YouTube as well as Google? So in about 30 seconds here, I'll walk you through entirely from start to finish how to do this so you can follow along step by step. However, the first thing that we all need to understand about YouTube is that no, you do not need to have a following built up. And the goal of this isn't even to build up a following. Since it is a search engine just like Google, you're just trying to get individual videos to rank. When someone searches how to do this, for example, you want your video to show up. Additionally, keep in mind that it's not just all how-to videos. These can be reviews. If you type in best headphones, for example, on YouTube, look through all of those videos and I can almost promise you all of these are affiliate marketing videos. And the last thing before we get into this is you do not need to buy camera equipment, you do not need to buy a microphone and you don't have to be on camera at all. I know for a lot of people getting on camera and making a video can be very challenging. All right, without further ado, hopefully we're all on the same page. If you have any questions thus far, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, let's switch over to the computer and I'll walk you through how to do this start to finish. So the very first step here is to go to your affiliate marketing website where you can find your articles. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to use a website that is not mine. I don't own it. I just really like it. This is a great example of how niche affiliate marketing websites should be made. And the content on this website is very good if you're interested in RVs or camping in general. So this website is called camperreport.com. That's the one I'm going to show you this as an example on how to make the videos. But a quick disclaimer is as you go make these videos for yourself, make sure that you're making them on your articles and not on another website's articles. If you're making these on articles that you do not own, you can get into a whole load of trouble for infringing on their copyrights. So make sure that you wrote the content and you own it before you're making these videos for YouTube. Now with that said, the next step once we're on our website is to pick the first article that we wanna turn into a video. So I'm just going to pick the first article that's on this website here, and it's called RVing is America's Next Vacation. Now scrolling through here, it looks like this is a pretty short article, so it'll be great for this example just to show you how to do this. So once you have the article that you're ready to turn into a video, now go to another tab, and I'm going to show you the tool I used to turn these into videos. So in a new tab, go to a website called invideo.io. This is the tool I use, and I'll show you how to use it here. So once you're here, you can make a free account or a paid account. Now, here's the thing. For this tutorial, you can use the free account, get the feel for it. The only thing is at the end of this, the videos have a watermark on it if you're on the free account. Now, since it has a watermark on it, you're not going to be able to use it because NVIDIA will own the copyright. So essentially what that means is for the sake of this tutorial, you can use a free account. You'll be able to follow along just like me. But once you're ready to do this for your own website, you will need to upgrade. Towards the end of this video and down in the description, I'll put in the discount codes so you can get this for a really good price and put it to use. Now with all of that being out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this and show you where this gets pretty cool. So the reason I use NVIDIA is because it saves a ton of time and all you have to do is go from pre-made templates over to article to video. Just stay on the YouTube landscape and scroll down. You can pick any of these templates. So for example, I'm just going to click this one here and it'll give you a little preview of what it looks like. Make sure you're staying on the wide 16 by nine and just go ahead and click use this template. So here's where it gets pretty cool because it'll save you a lot of time. Instead of typing in your headline and your whole article right here, all you have to do is scroll down to option two 
click to open that up and then paste the URL, which is the website link from your affiliate marketing article, the one that you wanna make this video about. So we'll go back over to our website. This is the article we wanna turn into a video. So I'm just going to go up to the browser search bar and copy the URL and then go back over to NVIDIA and I'm just going to paste that here. So this is the link directly to that article on our website. Now you can leave on auto suggest images and videos. That's just going to save us a bit more time in the future, but now just go ahead and hit fetch. Just give this a second to load here and it's going to do a lot of the heavy lifting for us. So now what's been done is they went over to that URL we just pasted. They got the title of the article and all of the information in the article. So this is where it gets cool even more and this is the reason that I like this tool. If we were to make a video with all of the information that is in this written article, it would not come out well in video. It's because there's a lot of information that we don't need. And in video, you need to get straight to the point as opposed to putting in all the extra details and connecting sentences that you might need in writing. With that being said, all we have to do is hit this auto summarize button right here and it pulls out the sentences that they think are best. And as you can see almost instantly, it's pulled out the sentences that we really need in the video and left out a lot of the fluff that doesn't belong in the video. Now, all you have to do is come over to the side and you may need to adjust this. I'd say it does about 90% of the work for you, but you can still go in and you can add to these sentences, you can remove things. You can even come back over to your article and you can click to add in a line that they didn't include or you can remove a line that you don't want to include. But essentially then you just stay on this right side and you just edit anything that you need to and you can even scroll on the left side, look at the black text. Those are the sentences that are not included right now and see if any of that is relevant that you want to be included in the video. The more sentences that you add in on this right side, the longer the video, but just keep in mind that for YouTube, for these specific individual affiliate marketing videos, a two minute video is completely fine. If you're going and trying to do a full tutorial like this, you know it's going to take more time than that. But for this purpose, a two minute, five minute, 10 minute video is all completely fine. So looking through this article in particular, this was a short article as I mentioned before, so it has 16 scenes right now. Now ideally you wanna stay under 30 scenes. However, for longer articles, you can go up to 50 scenes. So once you are happy with what's in here, all you have to do is click go to storyboard and just give this a second to load. It's processing everything and then the next part here is pretty cool as well. Okay, so now we're in the editor. We're basically in the home stretch. I just wanna show you how all this works so you can do it yourself. So as you'll see, all of those scenes that were along the right side, those 16 scenes, are now all going to have their own photo or video, and they're all going to be essentially their own slide. Now, when we were creating this previously, we put on auto suggest images and videos. So anytime it's reading through this, it's going to suggest an image that it thinks would be a good fit. You don't have to use these, but just know that sometimes it's going to be perfectly spot on and it just saves you even more time. So what we need to do is we need to get videos and photos as the background of these scenes. So the viewers of these videos have something to watch and keep their attention while they're reading the information that they need. So in order to do this, it's actually very easy. We come over to the left side and type in a topic or a keyword and it'll give us stock footage that we can use. Now for this example, we're talking about RVs and campers. So I'm just going to type in RV and search that. Now we have a ton of stock footage that we can use all with commercial usage rights. If you've been around this channel for a while, you know that commercial usage rights on everything, whether that's print on demand or affiliate marketing is so important. It essentially means that you can profit from the use of this content because you have full commercial usage rights. So as you see, when you scroll through here, there is a ton of stock footage about RVs that we can use. These are all videos. If we come over to the other side, these are all going to be photos, again, with full commercial usage rights. So I prefer to use the videos just because it's generally more engaging than photos. However, if you do need to use photos, don't worry, you can absolutely do that. And I personally do that as well. So all we have to do here is select the media that we wanna use for each of these scenes. All you do is drag it in, hit use full video. And then the last step is you just hit edit to decide how long that individual scene is going to be. Now, the way you determine how long a scene should be from experience if it's a title scene or something that is short, for example, like this, it only has a few words, I would say seven to eight seconds. Now, if it is something that has a pretty lengthy amount of text on it, this is about average. And as we go through here, I'll try to find you one that's a bit longer. All of these are about average length. That should be 10 to 12 seconds long. Now that's just in my experience, you can make them longer or shorter if you want. Essentially, you just wanna give the viewer enough time to mentally read through this sentence while they're watching the video. So for this first slide here, we're just going to hit edit. And conveniently looking at this, this clip is already about seven and a half seconds. So I'm just going to drag it down to roughly seven seconds. And all you have to do that is select this main selector and you can go in or you can go out to make that scene shorter or longer. So about seven seconds is perfect. We'll just go ahead and hit save. And now I can show you a preview of this by hitting the preview button. And how cool is that? It's just going to have that video with the text over it. 
it fades in and then it fades out and goes to the next scene. So moving right along to the next scene, since we did auto suggest images and video, it's going to pull something that it thinks is relevant from the sentence you put in. However, you can change this to anything that you want here. So personally, I really wouldn't use this photo. I don't think it's very engaging. So I'm going to switch it over to a video. Now looking at how long this is, I think we might need about nine to 10 seconds on this because it's a medium to long slide. So I'm just going to select this video right here, drag it in over top. And before we hit use full video, just notice how long that video is. If it's a long video, like 20 seconds, just know you can hit use full video and then you can hit edit and trim it afterwards to exactly how long you need it. For this instance, since the video is only five seconds long, I'm just going to slow the video down to 0.75 or 0.5 speed. This will double the length of the video. We know we're aiming for nine to 10 seconds on this one. So that'll give us about 10 seconds and then we'll hit use full video. So now when we look at the time on this, it's about 10 seconds. What we did was we slowed the speed down to about half. So now we can watch this video in basically slow motion. So that's looking good. We'll just move down to our next scene here and we'll just put in another clip. This one looks like it should be about 10 seconds as well. So looking at this clip, it's 17 seconds. That's perfect, useful video. We'll come back in and we'll slide it down to about 10 seconds. So looking through these previews, you can see all of this stock footage is awesome. These are clips that people normally wouldn't see. It's engaging and people are going to be watching this video while they're reading the bits of information that they need to learn. So essentially you just keep going through here and finish out all of these scenes. On a video, they also give you access to copyright free music right on the website and in the editor so you don't have to go find music anywhere else so you just hit the music icon up here and you'll be able to choose a song that you want to use in the background of this video so you can preview all the songs just by hitting the play button you can sort by different categories for the style of video that you're going with and really just scroll through here and then hit select when you find a song that you want to use for this video now just know that if you do have your own copyright free music that you want to upload for this video, all you do is just hit upload your own. I just think using theirs makes it a lot easier and saves you a lot of time. You'll notice that as you start to grow your business in affiliate marketing, it's all about doing the things that work and doing it more times. It's basically rinse and repeat. Once you find out what works of creating articles, you make more articles and then in the long term, you make more money. That goes the same for YouTube. So the name of the game here for creating these videos for YouTube from your niche affiliate marketing website articles is speed. That's why I recommend a tool like this because it's going to be quick. So with that being said, once you've picked your song, there's going to be one set by default. And remember, you can select any other one to swap it out at any time. Then once you've set all of the images or videos for all of these scenes, all you do is hit preview and export. It's going to load for a second here and then it'll let you preview the entire video and you can see if there's any errors or any typos, anything that you need to fix before you export it. And then all you do is hit export video and it'll save it right to your computer. Now this will process for a second here and then you'll have a little download button that you can click and it'll put the video right on your computer. The cool thing is once you download it to your computer, if you still see any errors, you can come right back in and edit the project again and pick up where you left off and you can just switch something there. Additionally, if you do need to add anything special to the video, you can take this video that's downloaded to your computer and put it right into iMovie, Final Cut Pro, any different video editing software, and you can make adjustments there. So once the processing is done, you just hit the little download button right here and it'll start downloading it to your computer. So now you've got the video file on your computer and you can do anything you want with it. So making the assumption that you used your own articles from your own website that you own and you have a premium subscription to NVIDIA, you will have full commercial usage rights of what you created. You will own the copyright and you can share this on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, anywhere you want and you can legally profit from it. So some of you guys may be asking, why do I personally create affiliate marketing YouTube videos like this when I'm perfectly fine being on camera and I could create the videos myself? Now I could give you an answer that would go into a lot of detail, but the short answer here is time and scale. When you can create videos like this, it may only take you a half hour to create a full video from start to finish. Creating a video like this, on the other hand, being on camera and making everything seamless with all of the editing takes multiple days. So by using a tool like this, you can simply grow your affiliate marketing business faster because you can scale. You can create a lot more of these videos than if you were to create each one of them on camera like this. Now, the next question that a lot of you may be having are, do people actually watch these videos? Now, in the beginning, I honestly wasn't sure and that's why I tested them. I'll tell you about the results here in a couple seconds, but just know that I saw this style of video on Facebook and I've seen myself personally watching these videos for a few minutes on Facebook, just reading along, getting the information that I needed. The question was, will this work on a search engine platform like YouTube. 
So that's why I did the testing. I was skeptical if people would stay and actually watch through the video, but after trying it with affiliate marketing videos in this style of video and keeping an eye on the analytics, watching the watch time of how people are engaging, are they giving thumbs up on the video? How do they like it? And how long are they watching it? The analytics were almost identical to videos that I had filmed of myself. Videos that have taken me multiple days to create were performing evenly with videos that took me a half hour to create from start to finish using this method. And the last question and the last part of this video is how do you do this as an affiliate marketing post. So the way you do this is you post your video on YouTube and then you have your title and you have your description of that video. The title of the video should be the same as the title of the article that you're getting from your website. The description is where you're going to put in your affiliate links. So the most important thing is in your description, you want to make sure that you have two specific things. The first thing is you want to say, read the full article here and then link to that full article on your website. This is just going to get you more traffic back to your website and potential for people to see ads on your website, for people to read other articles on your website. It just gets them in your environment. And the second thing is you wanna put in the product affiliate links if there are any in that video. You can do this right in the description. So you can say the product that you were reviewing in that video or whatever was relevant and just put the name of the product followed by your affiliate link that you got from your article. Now, if you don't have any affiliate products that are mentioned in that video, you don't have to put affiliate products in that description. However, if you do have those affiliate products linked in the description, it's always good practice to put an affiliate disclaimer at the bottom of your description. To do this, you simply just have to write disclaimer and then the links above are typically affiliate links. That's all nice and simple, nothing special. So guys, that's a full tutorial on how to do this from start to finish. I forgot to even mention that there's a discount for this. So when you're signing up, it's about $10 per month. I have a discount from them, which is 25% off. You just type in Greg 25 and it'll give you that discount. I'll link that down in the description. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's been helpful and I hope sharing this with you guys allows you to grow your affiliate marketing business, just like I've done with my own. If you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I'll be seeing you all in the next video.